today finally that's chapter 11 to chapter 12 seven weeks the last one what was the topic last week do you remember we forgot already I see one person there seven weeks and you forgot already I know you know Ken good Bande. Bande. Many. Life. Last week, two years. Seven weeks. Now we're on chapter 12. The kingdom. All of you repent already? Yeah? Always repent? You're always repenting? You mean every day? Shame too. Repentance is an important part of our lives. Sometimes, every day, we make mistakes. We're all not perfect. But I'll explain more about repentance, what it means to repent. God has given us an opportunity to repent. Before we were Christian believers, he always sent someone. Hello. Jesus loves you. And he died on the cross for you. Oh, okay. Do you want to be saved? Do you want to go to heaven? Explain. Do you know how to explain to someone how to be saved? Just an example. For example, are you ready to witness to someone about repentance? If you're not, we should know how to talk to someone, how to repent, how to be saved. What does saved mean? What does repentant mean? Who is Jesus? Who is God? How do you know God? How do you know God? Through who? Through Jesus, right? Just Sunday and said, if you know Jesus, then you know God. The person told you that. Now, first thing God tells us about our sins and repentance. Now, if you try to hide your sins, you will not be successful. But if you confess your sins, repent, forgive them, God will have compassion on you. So, we, as believers, we sin, but we try to hide them, continue sinning, hide, 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 hide. They will be found. You can't hide from your sins. No. Now, before we were believers, we sinned all the time. We didn't care. We didn't have. We didn't feel guilty. But sometimes we felt guilty. The Holy Spirit, hey, repent. Someone comes and tells you about your sin. Sometimes you're clueless that you sin until someone tells you. We here, brothers and sisters in Christ, we encourage each other, and we should never be quiet when we see brothers and sisters sinning. Maybe they don't know they're sinning. We're a new baby Christian. They're doing something wrong. The Word of God tells us. Remember I told you when I was dating my wife, we were together. Remember sex before marriage. We became Christian, new baby Christian. We didn't know. Before we were doing it, it's fine, not a big deal. But my youth pastor came and told us, no, no, no. What? 
what you're doing is a sin. Really? Show me the way to God. Are you ready to show some of the way to God? Tell us. Oh, now we had a choice. It's fine. We'll just say it. God forgives us. Not a big deal. We'll get married soon. You can do that. Well, I don't want God now. Oh, sorry, Lord. I sinned against you. We will repent and stop doing that. We'll wait until we get married. Yeah, I was about 18. I was a teenager. Two years of waiting. It was tough. But I love the Lord. I knew God came first, man. I loved my girlfriend, yes. I loved myself, too. We were tempted, yes, but we loved the Lord. So we chose to repent. Stop having sex for a minute. We want to be blessed by God. God dies. When we repented, God saw us. He was happy. And God has blessed us a lot since then. And we see problems. We could have chosen to. Okay, sure. We stop. Sneak around. Hide it. But God says, if we did that, it would be revealed. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 13. Who conceals the sin does not prosper. But one who confesses and renounces them means deny will find mercy. If you're living in sin, you have the opportunity now to confess to God, I'm sorry. He will give you mercy. He loves you a lot. He will give you mercy. But if you're hiding your sin, living your sin continually, Without repenting, you will not prosper. That's it. God commands all people everywhere to repent. God commands us. God commands everyone. Every person here on earth, God commands them to repent. But we know everyone doesn't repent, right? It's obvious. God commands. But we here already made the choice to repent. We heard his commands. Ask us to repent. I do. I accept. Repent. I give it to God. My sins. I confess my sins. What I did wrong. I'm sorry what I did. Whatever your sins were, God knows already. He wants to hear you tell him you're sorry. Acts chapter 1730. God overlooked such ignorance. And now he commands all people everywhere to repent. I find that interesting that God overlooked but it says ignorance. People didn't know. But nowadays we have what? The word of God. We have places of worship everywhere. Everywhere. If you go down one block you see churches everywhere. The Bible is everywhere. Every bookstore is the top selling book. The hotel, they have the Gideon. The Bible, right? They have it there. It's everywhere. Almost everyone's home has probably ten Bibles, probably. How many of you have ten Bibles in your home? Maybe. Some of you are already counting 
on your hands. You buy a Bible? Beautiful. Samuel has more than one Bible at home. Samuel full of dust. So we have the word of God says. So we have the laws, right? We have the word of God. So God's already shown the way. He's already sent Jesus already. We have TV. We have Joel Olmstein. We have some other features on TV. Every Sunday morning, we're exposed. And we have more the internet information. It's ready. So it's not like we're clueless. If a person has been living in the cave for the last 40 years, yeah, they come out. They don't know. Anyway, yes. When people face God, they're going to say, I didn't know, I didn't know. God's going to be like, okay, let me show you something. Probably the big screen, the biggest screen you've ever seen. You're alive. Probably see. Hey, I want to share Jesus with you. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Everyone here is probably witness to someone. Can I tell you about Jesus? I don't want to hear it. Or, okay, maybe later. Everyone here would have an opportunity to know who he is. God said, reach the whole world, and we pretty much almost have. We have missionaries that goes everywhere. We had Apostle Paul that travel. We have, him. we have some people here who are missionaries and travel, right? We now we there help people get Bibles. Almost everyone has been reached already. There's a word that says every person will be reached. They will not face God. Clueless. Everyone will have an opportunity. Now, why is repentance important? Why? Repentance is important because if you want to see God, you have to repent. We must have salvation to be with God. He's not going to let you into heaven and be living in sin. Would you let a stranger in your home? A killer in your home, would you? So when the beach children come in your home, would you allow that? No way. God's the same way. He's not going to let anyone into heaven that's in sin. Only holy people into heaven. How many of you are holy? None of us are holy. How do we get holy? Through Jesus, repent. Through Jesus, repentance. So we repent. That Jesus Christ. It's through Jesus Christ that we made holy. It's a gift from God that He's given us. A free gift. That's cool. I don't think I could afford that kind of gift if we had to pay for something. Holiness. Free gift for you and me. Ephesians chapter 2, 8, verse 9. For it is by grace you already been saved through faith, not through yourself. The gift of God, not by works, so no one can boast. We cannot earn our way into heaven. Here on earth, we can earn a paycheck, right? 
we will get a job, we'll get a paycheck. And we can pay for things we need, pay for a home, rent, a car payment, gas, whatever you spend your money on. We earn now, right? We work. Everything we do on earth, earn into heaven, we can't. No way. Even the richest person on earth, I'm not sure who is, but the United States here is probably Warren Buffett. You know who that is? One of the richest guys in investing stocks. We have Bill Gates, Donald Trump, he's rich too, but not the richest guy. So we have rich people. The money is gone. He doesn't care about the money. What did you care about? Have you believed in his son? Have you believed that he died on the cross? Have you repented? Do you have faith in Jesus? Are you saved? He's going to look. He's going to see Jesus wash your sins away already. Come on in. Money, whatever you did, that's good. That's not going to get it down. You will be rewarded for your works, yes. But that's later. After the interview. That he will reward you. But I went into the first gate. Do you have the key to go in? Jesus is the key. There you go. The key with a J. Now our repentance is given by God. He has given everyone the opportunity to repent. To confess your sins. Acts chapter 5, verse 31. God has exalted him to his own right, right hand as a prince and savior that he might bring Israel to repentance and give the sin. God knew that we needed something to have our sins forgiven out of it. So he had to send his son. I give you Jesus for you to give. And that you need that. He knows we were human. He knows we make mistakes. He knows we lose our temper. He knows we hurt people. He knows we backstab people in the mouth. He knows our human nature. He knows we're lying. He knows. He knew he needed to send Jesus. Acts chapter 11, verse 18. When they heard, they had no objection. They praised God, saying, So even to the Gentiles, God has granted repentance that leads to life. The Jews, now, only for me. That's it. And later they realized, oh, for everyone, sharing is caring. They accepted. Gentiles were Gentiles. Is that any Jewish here? Gentiles. God gave it to everyone. I'm happy. I'm a Gentile. I need Jesus. I know that. I need him. Who I am, I know I feel God. No matter what I do, I can't enter the heaven. So I know I need Jesus. The blood that washes the sins away.
because God is kind, because God loves you so much. He did love you so much. He sent his only son, precious son. He didn't have to, but he did. He wanted to, because he loved you so much. He gave us something. See what Romans chapter 2, verse 4 says. What do you show contempt for the riches of his kindness, forbearance, and patience? Now realize that God's kindness is intended to lead you to repentance. He's saying he did this. He sent his son for what? Repentance. To show the way. He left instructions to you. Pretty simple instructions. Do we know how to instruct to other people? If someone comes to you right now and says, How? How do I get saved? Are you ready to explain? Some of you are like, yeah. Some of you are like, some of you may be shy. Or you're not sure. Today's the day where you can start learning. Don't postpone. Be ready. Just the kindness of God is not earned. Earned. You can't earn it. It's a gift. The theme is it's a gift. You have to remember that. It's a gift. You cannot work for it. You can't work for it. Before I dated my wife, I had to work to get her attention. I bought her lunch every day. I bought her something that she wanted. I bought her soda. I bought her to go to the movies. I worked for her to get her attention. I found her one day and she decided to go to the movies with me. Yes. I earned her attention. I'm excited. But for God, I can't do that. He's given it to me. Here you go. Ready. Now, repentance is the inward change made by the convincing power of the Holy Spirit to what a God proclaim the next. Now, when we say repentance, we say I repent. And also leads to action too. Inside should change. Sherry and Mabel, were you around when I just started coming here? How long have you been coming here? Almost 11 years. Were you here in 2000? Two five. Nineteen ninety two perfect. What about you, Gilda? How long have you been coming here? Okay. Do you remember do you remember when I was a kid? Yeah, you've been here ninety minutes. You remember when I was in high school? Barbara kid. Would you say I'm the same kid from a long time ago compared to now? I know I'm still a dork, yes, but not that part. I was a big troublemaker. Probably am a still a little troublemaker now, but high school. So my life changed compared to now before. If you look back at your own life, would you look back? The first day I was saved, 
I remember who I was. I haven't changed since then. Used to cuss all the time. Used to drink, do drugs, beat up your neighbors, lust after other people. If you look back, you think about lie all the time. You look back. No. Am I the same? Get the thing. If you say, I'm exactly the same. There's something wrong with that. You should be different people. Inside should be different compared to a long time ago. Even though I've even saved one year, you should be able to notice some changes. Fifteen years changing. When high school, say, same time, same. And like Jesus, the world and the food can't change. Same. I wasn't still inside, so it looked the same. No change. People should see a change in you. Hey, I remember you a long time ago. You're different. Yeah, how am I different? You're fat now. That's not what I meant. But God works in you. Or you're nicer. I remember when I was in high school, I used to pick on my neighbor really bad. I hope one day I see him again. I tell him I'm sorry. Hope you can see him. I'm sorry. Let me buy you lunch. You should see a change in me compared to before. I know I'm going to have some friends that I've not seen in a long time that'd be surprised at my change. They'd be like, your pastor? How did that happen? Yeah, I have some friends doing that. I already have some friends who are like, you are a pastor? How did that happen? God changed me. Are you prepared to tell them why you changed? How'd you change? I'm not sure. You should be ready for it. God. He changed me. Why? I was a sinner. I was on my way to hell. I was living a life opposite from God. And I found that he loved me so much. It was cool. He gave me a free gift. People love free gifts, right? Everyone loves birthday gifts, Christmas gifts. They love free gifts. What's the free gift? Let me tell you. His name is Jesus. What did he do? He died on the cross. Why? He was innocent and pure. The blood washed him my sins away and your sins too. Tell me. Okay. How? Have faith and believe in them. Get in the cross. Say wash them. And I am clean because I proclaim it. I am clean because of his gift. And I repent. Stop doing sin. Whatever your sins were, you're supposed to stop. Repentance means stop. And you continue, continue, continue saying. You might be struggling. I understand struggling. It takes time to break through. But if you're like this, yeah, it's not a big deal. I'm just a mistake. I'm continue doing it. Is your heart breaking when you sin? It should. I'm sorry. Let's stop. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. That's true, yeah. Forgive me, Lord. Next day again, again, again. You can't do that. You can't. Struggle. Get on your knees. I'm sorry, Lord. You have to mean it. Acts chapter 2, verse 37 to 38. But when the people heard this, they were cut to the heart 
and said to Peter, Brothers, what shall we do? When you explain, what shall we do? Are you ready to reply? What shall we do? Peter said, Repent, be baptized. Have you baptized? If you want to be baptized, let me know. I'll fill it up. I'll baptize him. Before that, I'll explain. But I encourage you to be baptized at this point. In the name of Jesus Christ, who in the forgiveness of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Repent, and you get the gift of the Holy Spirit. That's important. You got the gift of the Holy Spirit, but you have to open it and use it. Some of us get the Holy Spirit. I'm going to save it for later. You should start using it right away. That's how you grow in your Christian life. When I first got saved, Pastor Linda was always like, you need to use the gift of the Holy Spirit. I was scared. The Holy Spirit would stop. Teach, 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 teach. Speak in tongues. Communicate with God. But it's embarrassing. So shy. But when it's learn, to learn, learn. Ah. It's power. Like Super Mario Brothers. You know, when you get the mushroom, you get bigger. Or you get the, the flower. You get fireballs. That's what you want. Satan comes. In the name of Jesus, right? Get out. Power up. Jesus blood washes me. The armor of God. We need the armor of God. God knew Satan just to play around. So he's given us the armor. He's given us to get the Holy Spirit. He's given us his word, the guidance. He's given us people here to support each other. That's why we're a body of Christ. Support each other so we can grow. John chapter 16, verse 7 and 11. Truly, I tell you, it's good that I'm going away. Jesus says I'm going away. The advocate when I come to you. But if I go, I'll send him to you. Jesus wanted the Holy Spirit. So if Jesus says, I have to go away so I can send the Holy Spirit. If Jesus himself said that, honestly, the Holy Spirit is very important in your life. You need to use it. One day we'll talk about the Holy Spirit and how to use it. Verse 11 says, and about the judgment because the prince of this world now stands condemned. Who's the prince of this world? Satan. Amen. He's condemned. He's already punished. He's already been defeated. Satan thought he won. But he was defeated. He lost. Because of Jesus. Defeated. The prince of this world, no, he already controlled you. He has control. But when Jesus died on the cross, he lost total control. Something going on? Okay. People are going in the upper room preparing for the Holy Spirit. Cool. Maybe we should join them. We read Acts chapter first beginning in the upper room in the parade and the Holy Spirit came. Yeah, join. We will we will have our upper room prayer meeting soon. Can let you know that. So we prepare to give up a night once a week sometime. 
because I believe the Holy Spirit can work through it, and we should use it. Prayer is important. Now, the prince of this world lost because he knows now when we put our faith in Jesus Christ and repent, game over. Control over us is lost. So we have to focus on him, continue and continue. He'll pick on us, trying to make us bad. So, we are free through Jesus Christ. A free gift. He knew we couldn't afford it. No way we could afford it. How many can afford a Ferrari? I don't think all of our money combined together could buy one Ferrari and bring those this nice car. Maybe we could afford was a Kia right now, Toyota, Honda right now. So it was expensive, but it was free. What Jesus did was not cheap. His life. He had to lose his life in the process. Jesus didn't deserve him. His holy was perfect. And he was from heaven. He came down. So the body, like the quick point, back hurts, body ache. Walking in sandals in the dirt. Do you like going to the beach? Some of you like going to the beach. Can you imagine walking through the beach sand every day? Yeah. yeah. Jesus lived. He hunger. He thirst. He experienced pain. He suffered. He did it all. Why? So we can't repent. The results, repentance towards God, faith in Lord Jesus Christ. That's Acts chapter 20, faith that Christ died with us sin. He was buried and he rose from the dead. That was the results of what happened. Jesus came for what? For you to repent. It's a free gift because he loves you so much. He wants you and all to have an opportunity to repent from your sins. Now we're Christians. We repent from our sins. Keep clean. This God was said and grow with a new relationship. And it's an important part of our life. Same in the relationships we have on earth with our family, our wives, our children. We repent from our mistakes too. If you refuse to repent from your mistakes with your earthly relationship, it becomes a mess, right? Same with God. I refuse to repent from my sins. When I make a mistake with my wife, she gets upset. I'm stubborn. Oh well. It just happens. I don't feel sorry. My wife's gonna be mad, right? Upset. Not happy. She's gonna annoy me. Annoy me. I tell her, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Okay, are you gonna do it again? I hope not. But with God, we sin against Him. I mess up. I'm sorry. Lord, I'm really, really sorry. And I will stop. I'll continue fighting it. But if you're like, tomorrow's another day, I'm going to sin again. Because tomorrow I'll, I'll repent again. Not acceptable. 
in a relationship, when you betray your loved ones, it's going to hurt. I'm sorry. Betray again. Betray again. Betray again. It's going to happen. I made a promise to my wife. I made a promise once. I'm yours. I will not play with the world. I belong to you. And I will fight, fight, fight to continue to be strong in him. I know I will fail for that. That's why I need Jesus to wash my sins away. That's why you need Jesus to wash your sins away. Continue growing. Stop sin. I want to give everyone an opportunity to pray, talk with God. I'll give you five minutes. Sit there, 